everyone. Welcome back to Arranging with Judy. Uh, today I have a ceramic bowl. I'm kind of I'm kind of liking these ceramic bowls, but I'm going to make a centerpiece for my neighbor. Uh, if you saw my previous uh, video, you know that I made a centerpiece for my neighbor, but I'm making another one because they never told me whether they wanted a fresh centerpiece or a dried centerpiece. So I thought, hey, I'll put the same thing. Uh, I'll put a different thing in the same bowl. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. So this one is going to be kind of um, structural as far as flower placement. I'm going to kind of cluster the flowers and the, the textures rather than just polka dotting them all through it. And I started out with some grapevine. I took a grapevine that I cut from out back and I just wrapped it around inside this bowl. And then I put a little, a little batch of chicken wire just kind of clumped up and stuck in there to hold this. I really don't want to use foam. Um, the, we're choking on all the waste uh, in the oceans and every place, the plastics and the plastic particles and everything. We got to stop. So this is my this is my solution. I'm using something very organic and a little chunk of chicken wire that can be reused. So I have some dried artemisia. Uh, this is a silver king. Um, I have some dried hydrangeas right here. These are um, the limelights and they can be cut anytime uh, during their um, their life cycle. And but if you're going to dry them, it's good to have all the top blossoms open and then they dry very nicely. I have some really beautiful dune grass blossoms here. The dune grass is a silvery blue grass that's very, very aggressive in my area. So I have mine in pots but it produces these really beautiful blossoms and I can take them and dry them and they'll dry and they'll stay forever. And then I also have some um, sea oats that I dried. I'm trying to go for kind of a, a greeny pinky gray look, but I'm also going to add some pine cones so it'll still have kind of a, a fall feel. Um, here is some uh, Kent Beauty oregano. And I dry this um, pretty much every year because it's just it just dries so nicely and the color is pretty. It's a kind of an atypical fall flower because it's got pink in it, you know. And uh, other than the pink heirloom mums, you don't see a lot of pink outside in the fall. So I have these pine cones. I have several different uh, varieties, and I, I want to put these in. I think I want to kind of put them in more vertical than. Uh, horizontal. Uh, so I'm going to wire them. I don't know if you've ever wired a pine cone before, but in between these layers, you can just slide a wire. This is a 22 gauge wire and you bring it around through in between these and then you just twist it. And if you want, if you need the extra stability, you can wrap this around a stick and you can uh, put it in that way. Um, so, and also, let's see, I have some Austrian cones, and you do the same thing with those. You just um, put the wire in between these um, layers in here, and then just twist. So, let's see, how many of these do I have? Oh, and I also have one. No, I have two. I have two white pine cones, and I like these two. They are just another texture to put in here. So let me get one more wire for this one. And I, you know, I put this grapevine in. I don't mind that it's kind of sticking out here, uh, as long as it stays put, because it'll give me a little more texture in my arrangement. I think I do need one more. Do you have a smaller one? Ian, stop tormenting the cat. You guys hear that? I'm going to have to beat him. Okay, so I think I might start with uh, a little bit of artemisia here. And I think I can just like break it off and I can just tuck it in here in between um, just to have like a little fringe of support in here. Um, and a kind of a, an outline. So. Okay. 
Ian is my videographer and uh, he's also going to be the one that has to produce this video. <laughs> so it might just have a cat noise in it because you can't seem to leave the cat alone. All right, see how I'm putting this in kind of with the with the um, vine exposed? I don't know. It might end up showing up in there, and it might not. I don't, I'm just not sure. Oh, I think I figured out what the cat wants. The cat is after my uh, sea oats, and Ian's trying to stop it, I think. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was just picking on the cat. Okay, I'm moving the whole operations out of his out of his orbit. <laughs> I wish you guys could see Ian right now. <laughs> All right, I have this little um, fringe of Artemisia. I love this color, and it's just going to be kind of an atypical color combination for fall. But I think it's really. Um, unique and fun. So I'm taking these cones. I'm going to put these in first and kind of segment the arrangement somehow with them. Um, they're on this wire. I want them to be inserted in here, but I don't want them to, you know, pop out easily. And so I'm just going to fold it in half like this, and I'm going to tuck it in. And um, if I can, oh, that one's a little too tall. All right. I have a couple of these. I might just go all the way across with it. Um, I want some texture with these cones. Well, that's no good. That needs to stand up. I wonder if I can get this in between there. So, okay, so now I think I'll take a few of these hydrangea and I'm going to try and make these kind of do the same thing. Um, kind of upright in my arrangement here. Okay. And then maybe another set over here on this side. And then uh, I'll use some of these um, kind of beauties. These are kind of funky. They're all kind of different. I might have to put them in one at a time because they're all different heights and they have kind of skinny stems. I'd like to be able to poke them in, you know, all at once. So. Hmm. 
Đấy. Some over here. Now I won't have a lot of this dune grass, so it's going to have to be, you know, it's going to have to be pretty, um, pretty clustered. I don't have a lot of it, but I can do. Dune grass on this side, and maybe um, some of my sea oats on the other side. I had a very limited amount of this left because I used it for another project. But I love this color with these, so I want it in there. All right, and then over here, I'll put some of this. The sea oats that Simon wanted so badly. But I'll try and give it a, you know, an upright placement here. All right, I don't like this, and I don't know why I don't like this dune grass. Maybe I want it to go out this way, more like a, a feather placement. I'll do the same thing with my sea oats. Sometimes, you know, you got to picture in your head of what you're going for and things just don't always cooperate so then you just got to look at it and say why is this off balance and what can I do to fix it and so that is where we are now and I'll tuck a little bit more of the um tent beauty in here to help fill this and then a little bit more of the um Artemisia, and then we will be pretty much done. Yeah, that helped. They just needed to go out. That's just what they wanted. Look at the texture on this. Isn't this just gorgeous? This stuff makes me so happy. It can be kind of invasive, but if you cut it to dry it, then you want a lot of it. And if you put it someplace where it's not in a manicured area of your garden, you'll be fine with it. This stuff, um, it lives up, it lives in spite of torture, kind of, because it's in a really dry area of my garden, and it still um, continues to thrive. So, and the texture is fabulous. Okay, I just think I need a little bit more artemisia right here, and then I'm done. And my neighbor will get a dried arrangement and a fresh arrangement. Oh. All right. See how delicate that uh, is here? I like this in the center uh, to be open right here so you can see the cones and the texture of the cones. Um, it, when you're looking down on it, it's very interesting. Um, sometimes it's fun to be able to look into the, the center of your arrangement and uh, see texture. You know, it's kind of a surprise. 
um, draws right in and um, th there's texture in there. So uh, if you can see from my, my upper camera, um, maybe you'll notice that. Um, this is not a symmetrical, regular, full pave style arrangement. It has a lot of ins and outs and a lot of texture. And uh, it's kind of fun. I think this is done. And I should probably move some of this uh, hay <laughs> out of the way so you can see what I have. Um, Oh, I just found one of these. I guess I didn't need it. All right, so this is a non-traditional non um, shape and a non-traditional color combination for fall, but I like it with the white uh, ceramic cylinder, and I think it'd make a nice centerpiece in case my neighbor really wanted a dried arrangement when they said they wanted an arrangement. So there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching.